what I'm sure Tim is here. Here is my review for the new music of Fell in the Heights. Now, I'm, I've never really seen uh, Hamilton on Broadway, that is, but I did, of course, watch it last year when it premiered on Disney Plus. And, you know, since um, Hamilton's like, uh, premiere uh, on Broadway, it became a worldwide phenomenon. But before Hamilton kicked in, Lynn Alvarez did this uh, musical back in like 2008, I think. I can't remember the actual year the musical first premiere. But he did this uh, musical called In the Heights, which was a very uh, modest success. I remember when Lynn Alvarez performed the. Uh, you know, um, the In the Heights song on uh, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade once. Uh, so, yeah, and of course when they announced the movie, I was like, okay, maybe, uh, you know, they, this movie is a success. Maybe we can get a Hamilton uh, annotation in the future, who knows. And of course the trailers have, you know, look really good. The soundtrack is terrific. So, I decided to go watch uh, In the Heights, and I would say right now, In the Heights just might be my favorite movie of the year. That's right. In the Heights is that good. You know, uh, the culture for, uh, the culture aspect was really decent. I mean, I'm, I live in New York City, so it's pretty cool to see, uh, you know, uh, like, if, I guess you really want to look at uh, New York City stuff, in a way, is a character in the film, in a way. Uh, it's Washington Heights, though, uh, which is a queen, not a man. But still, New York, New York, doesn't matter what where it is, but still. Uh, now, Anthony Ramos playing the role of, uh, Playing the role of Yuka Sabi, I can never pronounce the name so well. But Anthony Ramos, who of course appeared in uh, um, Hamilton, was so good. Definitely gave a really soft performance here. All uh, the musical numbers in this thing worked perfectly. I mean, if I gotta say some of my favorite musical numbers in um, in the film, it'll probably be uh, the in the Heights um, opening number, the 96,000 uh, uh, number, and also uh, the Abuela uh, musical number, which by the way, the actress who plays, um, who plays the well, I think the actual name is Oga Bird, I think her name is. I'm saying it right now. If she doesn't get an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress, I'm gonna be disappointed. Like, that musical number is definitely an Oscar worthy performance. She crushed it every, um, says with that on music performance. You know, her, like, She'll, you know, uh, leave you cheap, you know, tears when you're watching uh, her performance of this. Uh, her, like, scenes with uh, Ramos is terrific. Uh, I mean, I know she was just magnificent. And you also have some other interesting cast members, too. Like, how cool was it to see Jimmy Smith in the musical? Come on, the guy from NYP, the blue, and Star Wars in the musical? Okay, cool. Uh, you know, Corey Hawkins was great. Uh, Melissa Barrera was terrific. Uh, Leslie Grace was terrific. Uh, the one who plays um, the uh, cousin Sonny, uh, I think his name is Gregory Diaz, the former, I think his name is. I don't know, he was terrific. Uh, the girls who plays the uh, salon ladies, uh, you had Stephanie Beatrice from uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine fame, uh, Dasha Pound-Legno from, uh, from Orange New Black fame, and uh, Daphne Rubin Vega, who of course actually uh, played Vanessa in the original um, in the high school um, musical. They were all really um, seen shows here. You know, I mean, uh, this had such a really amazing cast. I mean, I'll I'll be shocked if this thing does not get a nomination for uh, for the SAG for its uh, song. I mean, the song is just so terrific. Like I said, the music numbers you're gonna have these music numbers stuck in your head all day. I know I did. I mean, when I, when the movie was done, I went back home and just literally uh, pumped in the soundtrack. The, probably some of the best soundtracks I've heard in recent years. It's so good, terrific. Uh, you know, very inspirational, you know, great performances. Oh, and it was also pretty cool seeing Lin Manuel Miranda pop up as uh, like the ice cream type guy. It was really cool seeing him out uh, there. Uh, Christopher Jackson, who I believe played George Washington on Hamilton, he actually played the uh, Mr. Soccer guy. That was pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad they finally released this thing because I know it was hands down terrific. Kudos to John M. Shu, he did one heck of a job in this movie. Now I'm curious to see what he's going to do with uh, Leo Sitch and even uh, the Wicked movie. So, those are his next films that he's playing in. Anyway, uh, I don't know, let me leave you guys. Did you have a chance to check out In the Heights? If so, what stuff it worth? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, and what was some of your favorite musical numbers? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu Sion.